Can you control fungus gnats with cider vinegar? In this video, I'm going to run through a little experiment to see how well cider vinegar traps fungus gnats. It was always my understanding that one way you can tell the difference between fungus gnats and fruit flies is with cider vinegar. Fruit flies are attracted to it and fungus gnats are not. And these two insects look fairly similar and they can't exist in the home. So one of the things we've been telling gardeners for years is use cider vinegar to tell the difference. If the flies come to the cider vinegar, they're fruit flies. If they don't, they may be fungus gnats. But I went online and looked at videos about fungus gnats and I found over a dozen that say this stuff will collect fungus gnats and it will even control them in your grow room. I'm skeptical. So what I decided to do was set up a little experiment to see how well this works. I grow plants under lights and I know I have fungus gnats because if you look at them very closely, I can see the difference. I used to grow fruit flies for my dart frog, so I know them very well. I also know that fungus gnats are attracted to yellow sticky paper. So I got myself some of this and some cider vinegar and I'm going to test them both in the same area at the same time. Which one of these is going to collect more fungus gnats? This is pretty easy to use. You just peel off the protective layer and hang it in your light room. And cider vinegar is pretty easy to make too. And I'll make it up right now. Just take a little dish, pour some in, and add a drop of soap. Any dish soap will work, but as you know, Dawn is the best soap to use in horticulture. Okay, that's just a myth. There's nothing special about Dawn. All these kitchen soaps are about the same. Mix it around. Now the reason we add soap to this is that both fruit flies and fungus gnats are very tiny and they don't weigh very much. In fact, they weigh so little that they can sit on top of liquids. By adding soap, we disrupt the surface tension on the liquid and they're no longer able to stand on it. They fall right in. And that's the purpose of the soap. Which of these are going to work better? It's been five days and it's time to see how well cider vinegar catches fungus gnats. Now let's first have a look at the yellow sticky cards. I had one of these under the lights and I count about 40 fungus gnats on it. So it worked fairly well. Now what did the cider vinegar catch? Absolutely nothing. You might be thinking, just a minute, this wasn't a fair test. Maybe cider vinegar will catch fungus gnats if the yellow cards aren't around. Maybe they're attracted more to the yellow cards and that kept them away from the cider vinegar. So I did a separate experiment where I had cider vinegar only, no yellow cards, and in five days I caught one fungus gnat. I guess that was one foolish one flying around and he fell in. Cider vinegar does not catch fungus gnats. It is a good way to tell the difference between fungus gnats and fruit flies because fruit flies are attracted to this like crazy. This myth is busted. If you see websites or other YouTube videos promoting this as a way to catch fungus gnats, you know that you can't trust the information that site is giving you. If you want to know some other ways to catch fungus gnats, I made a video about that. To get to that video, click in the top right hand corner. If you want to know about other garden myths, I've written two books. Garden Myths Book 1 and Book 2. And there's a link coming up for that right now. 